Hello everyone. It's James again. And for those of you that are new to this channel. Thank you for giving this little cartoon man with a funny voice a bit of your time. And for those of you that are long time subscribers. I thank you from the bottom of my little cartoon heart. Today I want to jump right into the topic of this video. And how it ties in with a particular news story. And I will leave a link for this news story in the description box below. In this story where a woman named Daisy Zanpier tried to delete her husband by putting eye drops in her husband's drink on two different occasions. And after her husband got sick. And the police started to look into the case. A year later. Daisy was arrested. And then she later confessed to the entire thing. But the main thing here is this woman seemingly used her Christian faith to charm people into thinking that she was a caring loving wife. And likely her husband at least in the beginning had seen her as just that. She even wrote articles about her Christian faith and about the dangers of ingesting certain household chemicals. You see. I was going to originally title this video. Boundaries can literally save your life. And evil narcissists like this will use things like Christianity to get you to forget about the red flags you might see in them. And to give them the benefit of the doubt. And I've said it a million times and I will say it a million more times. Narcissists get away with so much over the course of their life. They are feeling like they are immune to getting into trouble. And themselves and what they see as their successes start to become their own worst enemy. Because they think they can just get away with it. Just like they have gotten away with hundreds if not thousands of other horrible things their entire life. Now I say all of this to say. As Christians we know we aren't perfect. We are sinners and we will likely make other mistakes we will have to work hard on. But when you are dealing with a narcissist. You are dealing with someone that can assume the shape and form of whatever will allow them to get in good with a person or a group of people. And if it happens to be the church or Christianity. They are all over it. They will donate their time. Nothing negative against those that donate your time. But these narcissists will jump right into this mix. Because what they are doing in their mind is building up points. They are hoping they will have so many people that will see them a certain way. So when they do their evil deeds. People will automatically side with them. And in years past. Decades ago. This might have been more possible. But now people are starting. Slowly starting to be able to better to put two and two together. But with that being said. They hope. That when they meet a target. That they will use your Christian faith and their so called Christian faith to keep taking them back. Or overlooking their bad behavior towards you. We all know though we were love bombed and treated really well. At some point. The love bombing ended and they either yelled at us for literally no good reason at all. Or they got mad and accused us for something we clearly didn't do. Then when all the dust settles. They want to see if we will take them back and understand they just had a bad day. And they know if you are a man or woman of faith. You might be tempted to take this person back under what we are taught as Christians to do. And that is forgive. But sadly what many of us never learned. Especially those of us that grew up in a toxic home. And that is to walk clean away from such a person and to have nothing to do with them ever again. Yes. It's good to forgive. But forgiveness doesn't have to mean accepting the same position or allowing a person another chance at treating you poorly. And I do not doubt this man that was married to this woman and unknowingly drank his drink with eye drops in it. Likely went through such storms with his wife. And this is likely what led him to believe his wife was trying to delete him and him likely working with the police. Because in these instances. A great many of the time. All of the years of the bad treatment starts to make sense. Wow. They are really trying to delete me. Now for some. There are those that will stay in denial. But there are a great many where all of the years they had to endure of the hot and cold treatments and the gas lighting and the manipulation all starts to make sense. And this man luckily had the police involved and she was arrested. I say all of this to say. Don't let the fact someone appears to be a Christian let you drop your guard. 
or let you ignore the red flags you might see. I'm going to be doing a video talking about how relationships aren't really hard work. Either someone loves you and treats you with love. Or they don't. It's that simple. Don't let someone treat you badly over and over again. Simply because you think they are a Christian and you don't want to lose them. I pray for this man. And the children they share. Like I've said before. Narcissists can come in all genders shapes and sizes. They can be a little elderly man or woman. They can be the woman at your local church. Or the man that gives out communion during the church ceremony. Test the spirits and back away if you see red flags. No matter if they seem like the perfect one for you or not. Because people that love you. Won't treat you badly. Not because they are cranky and tired. And not just because. If they love you they love you. And likely this woman thought. She could bump off her husband. And start a new life. Probably with another narcissist that was in the church. And yes. Both men and women narcissists are capable of this evil. So if you feel something is off. Or you are treated poorly out of the blue. Leave. Just trust your gut and leave. Well that's all I have for today. Please don't forget to subscribe comment like and share and if you want to donate to help out this channel you can do so by way of the patreon link in the box below and for those of you that are donating i thank you thank you thank you with that said i do hope your day is blessed and until next time bye for now and be good to yourself